Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. I'm so happy that you're joining me today. We are going to be styling my bookcase and doing three of the shelves in it. So I'm going to start off with some Mrs. Meyers apple cider. Absolutely love the spray. Not only does it get things clean, I love the way it smells and it actually makes me want to clean the house more. So we live in a 1970s home and our bookshelves are in need of some paint. But I do not feel like putting in the time or effort to do that right now. So I'm going to show you how to style these in a way that no one's going to really notice the missing paint or the bumps and scratches that are on these shelves. However, if they do, maybe it'll just add a little bit more character to the home, which I think that it does. So we are going to go ahead and clean these and then we're going to get styling and add our books and our stems and our leaves and our candles and our pumpkins and anything else that we think will look good on this. Okay, right there I'm showing you how disgusting the shelves were, <laughs> even though I had just cleaned them not too long ago, but we, we just have lots of dust here. So here comes our first book, which is actually one that my brother-in-law made us, and he cut out the inside, so we have a fun little secret hiding place in our book. So fun. Love these kind. Here comes our book face. I have the Little Women one, and I'm going to play with it a little bit here, kind of angle them, and then I'm going to put some leaves in it. Here are the leaves. And I'm sorry that the camera is so wiggly and shaky, but I had to keep bending down to grab the things and then I had to step up to put it on the shelf so I could reach. And I was doing this basically one-handed because I do not have a tripod that will work for this area yet. And everything that I am using I got from Target, Walmart, Amazon, or some of the books I did get secondhand from our local thrift shop.
We're going to start on this next bookshelf. I already have some of the books placed. This is the one that has the most staining on it, and we're going to just cover that up with some more books and some pumpkins and some leaves. This is one of my favorite books, Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. If you have not read it, definitely grab one and read it. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here, and I'm going to use some of my spring decor. I'm going to take these books, turn them around so you just see the white part. And I'm going to cover it up with The Grace of Wild Things, one of my favorite books, and also another favorite, Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. And now I have more of a spooky autumn vibe going on here. Also, you might notice that in all of these pictures that I have in my bookshelf, I do not have our personal family pictures showing because I want to keep those personal. Mm -hmm. So I will more than likely never show those. I definitely do not want to ever show my children on here. This is just all about books and decorating and just all of those kind of fun things. My hands are shaking, stifle my breath. So lovely, it scares me to death I used to get so insecure with you, it's different Yeah, just something about you makes me so sure Don't know what it is, but you make me want to stay together I'm going to add one of these felt pumpkins, which I actually got Oh, I got these ones from Ross a long time ago And they had a heart stem inside of them And we decided to take that off and just sew a little fake fabric -y stem on them. That way when children were smaller, if they decided to throw them at each other, it did not hurt as bad and did not do as much damage. Um, you know how little kids can be. Now I'm giving it that once over just to see if I like how things are flowing. And now I'm looking at all three shelves. This is, these are built into our fireplace. So we have these three shelves and then we have like a fireplace to the left. And then further to the left, we have another big shelf that is used for DVDs and etc. Okay, so now we're gonna work on this third shelf which I was not a fan of the books, the magazines on the right side, so I laid them down instead of having them stand up. And now I'm going to see if I can get this to look a little better. And I'm playing with this cat sign because we did have a cat and she got really sick and ill, so we had to have her put down in the end of April, which we're still all super sad about, but we still have all these lovely signs about how much we love cats and we ha we're planning on keeping them and maybe someday we will get some more some more cats <clears throat> so i am adjusting these things and i'm still trying to figure out now where do i put the sign where should i put this one does this look good I'm going to add this little gnome. My son is a huge fan of gnomes, which is saying a lot because he is a teenager now and he does, he 
he does not like a lot of things, or at least he's not going to tell me that he likes them. So these at least bring a smile to his face. And I add them every year to our decorations. I never wanted this, but now we're here. I kind of like it. The way you hate me, then you love me. You're so indecisive. Bellin your fingers through your hair when you got chocolate on them. I'm still not loving these magazines. I'm trying to figure out how to cover them. So you don't see a whole stack of them and I'm trying to figure out how to get this frame to sit up there And then I decided to put this on top which actually holds um, One of those heavy crystal Light statue thingies I'm Not sure what they're called if you know comment below. I will be showing another one later on in the video And <laughs> you can point it out and say this is what it's called Okay, so I'm putting a pumpkin on top of it and we're just going to try to cover this up a little tiny bit more. And here's the dragon one that we have of it. Comment below if you know what those are called <laughs> because I cannot remember what they are. At this point, I am fairly satisfied. I might change things later on, and obviously I'm going to add some Halloween stuff and change it out really soon anyways. But this is what it turned out like. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one, I hope. Bye-bye, guys.